seriously, I swear, like I'm kind of embarrassed because I'm so clumsy. That really, I did not have anything to do with that. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Natalie Yusefi and uh, before we start, you guys already know the routine. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel. And um, I just want to give a quick shout out to the last people that subscribed to my channel. Well, actually everybody that subscribed, but um, in the last video I said that we were, we wanted to reach 100, right? And we sure did, we're at 104 and I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. For today's video, I decided to make a DIY on how to make a basketball into a basketball purse. And I think you will love it because I sure do. I totally forgot that I had these, oh my gosh, so awkward, but I forgot that I had these custom-made candies that I had to go pick it, pick up, like, literally right now because they're about to close and I need them. It's that, it's that, um, that sugar rush for me right now. <laughs> no, but, um, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna continue and make the video. I'm gonna finish it, I promise, in a second. Alright, guys, I pulled over just to make this video real quick. This is the bag. This is the name of it. I think it says Picositos. It's Spanish, I think. <laughs> but, um, yeah, the candy basically is regular candy, but it's dipped in, uh, I don't know, I think tahini, if I'm not, if I'm not wrong, okay? But it looks amazing. I really, really know that this is about to be so good. This is watermelons. And then this is, here you go. I don't know it looks good though can't wait to eat it so i opened the glitchers or whatever it's called mm -hmm. oh my god mm. Mm. <laughs> i can't lie that candy was amazing but i'm back and we're about to get this video started so i have this miniature basketball cute word um i cut it open in the middle you'll see between this nike sign and this one you see it's in the middle so all we have to do now is to make a hole right here and a hole on the other side i already did it it will look like this once that's done we have two of these this one and this one i'm not really sure what these are called but i know that you can find them on amazon it might be called like a I don't really know what it's called. Just make sure you look at it. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do is to put these right here, just to hook the strap onto these later on each side. I did that first. I would recommend everybody to do this first. So if you put crystals and stuff on it, it will just stay untouched and clean afterwards. If you put glue, it might look messy if you're trying to put these on later, but it's just easier to put it on first. For the next step, we have these crystals. I got them from Benjamin's store. If you watched my videos before, all the other videos, not all of them, some of them, um, I have mentioned Benjamin before. Um, he has a store in downtown LA, actually two of them. Um, they're amazing. You can find all types of crystals and jewelry. So make sure you, I'm going to put his Instagram right here so you guys can go and check him out. It's amazing. Trust me. But yeah, so what we're going to do with this is to wrap the blue with crystals. And then eventually when we're done with that, we're going to make a strap out of this. This is the glue that we're going to use. It's a rapid, um, what's it called? Rapid Fuse Glue, I think that's what it's called. And it's all purpose and it dries super fast. So what I did right here was to put the glue on the blue and then I just attached the crystals to it. And I'm gonna continue doing it all around it. I just put glue just on the blue. Make sure you do not put any glue at all on the black part of the ball because it will turn white it's not cute i do not recommend it because it doesn't really come off once you do it super super duper glue <laughs> okay so we're just gonna keep it keep wrapping it around all around and i will show you guys the results in a second 
this is the results of the crystals all around it. Now, the last thing we're going to do on the basketball is to put um, small little uh, crystals over there. Oh, these. They look like this. They're matching the same colors. So we're going to put that on the white around the Mickey sign just to make it look cuter. <laughs> I'm going to use the E6000 glue. As you can see, it's been used and abused. <laughs> But um, we're going to put it into this one and it's just easier because the top is way skinnier than this top. <laughs> this is how we put the glue inside of this one. You don't need more than more than that. I don't think so. Um, and one more thing. Um, if you go to his store, please make sure you say Natalie sent me. Natalie Yousefi. He has the same last name as me, so no, we're not cousins. <laughs> but here we go. I'm about to put glue all around it right here. And then we're going to put that right here. Only bad part about the E6000 glue is that it takes um, 24 hours to fully, fully, fully dry. But since we got time. We're gonna do the other side as well. Same thing that we just did. Oops. And make sure if you have a glass table or any type of other table, make sure you um, cover it because you don't want glue on your table. Trust me. So the last step for today <laughs> is uh, the straps. What we're going to do is to measure it 25 inches and then we're going to cut it three times. All right, first strap, this one, looks like this, and then three more because we're going to braid it. One, two, three. All right, and then the last one. It's pretty easy, this part. Oops. If you have a glue gun, your life will be way easier. If you don't, you should go buy one. Because I will show you why. So once we cut all three of them, this is what you have. Three crystal straps. Um, just to make it easier for yourself, get a hair tie and tie the top part of the three straps. Just like this. Come on, we do this. I don't know why I'm not doing it. It looks like this. And then you're just going to braid it. If you find it hard to braid, then you gotta find a way to learn how to braid. It might be harder to braid because it's not holding on to anything, but you can put it in your mouth or, or yeah, you get what I'm trying to say. Anyways, just continue braiding until you are fully done. It's actually pretty hard. Yes, guys, my British accent comes out when I feel like it. I don't have one, but I wish I did. Like seriously. I'm just gonna put it between my legs. This is what I meant by saying that way easier when we have the edge the end it might look like this just make sure that you cut everything to the same size and we're going to put some um, glue gun glue <laughs> inside of this hot glue just so we can uh, make it stick easier it will look like this once we're done for the absolute last part of the ball, I feel like I said that a million times, but this is really the last part. Um, you got your strap. We have a little hoop, loop, hoop, whatever, this one. All right, so what we have to do is to use two tools, or if you really have strong fingers, you could do it, but I cannot, I tried. You open it up like this, 
put it through the hole right there. Add this, oops, that's one not. <laughs> Add this one, and then you close it up again. Who is ready for the results? <laughs> so remember this part that we put. We're going to hook it on to the strap. Oops. We're going to hook it on on one side and then we're going to hook it on to the other side. Just be careful because it still has been 24 hours for the glue to dry. But here we go. This is my basketball bag. I honestly had a good time doing it. It doesn't take a long time to make the purse. I think what takes long is probably putting the crystals on and letting the glue dry on the purse, on the basketball. <laughs> but I would say mm, 20 to 30 minutes in order for the purse to be done. Um, then obviously you can add your own details, your own little crystals, all whatever you want, whatever you want. But please if you like the video make sure you put thumbs up for me and then if you have any questions or anything else just comment and i will answer thank you guys Mwah.